Nathan Cleverly, they said you were too young, they said it was too early in your pro career, and they said you wouldn't have the heart to go 12 rounds. They being the critics, what do you say to your critics now? I always said that was a fair comment. I had respect for people who said that because, you know, they could have been right, it was early. But like I said, it, as long as I believed in myself, that's all that mattered. And that's what I did, I believed in myself. I knew I'd grind Tony Oki down. He, he thought all along that he'd grind me down, you know, and he had right to think that because he's a warrior and he can grind anybody down, Tony Oki. A word on Tony Oki because he did keep coming at you for 12 rounds. He did it, you know, what a guy, fantastic guy, you know. He was in the hotel and he's a nice guy, but we had to put that aside and business is business. We had to, you know, we had to put on a great show tonight for the fans, who've come, the loyal fans. The first six rounds you were out there, you were throwing your punches and landing some, but from round seven onwards, it was like almost you completely changed your tactics. Moving your feet, landing shots, was this a game plan before going in? Yeah, well, from, from Bell when a lot of people was telling me to, to box, be smart, stay on the jab, box long. <laughs> he was one of them actually, but like I said, I, I knew deep down what I had to do. I knew I'd get drawn in, I always, you know, I mostly get drawn in, but it was, that was where I could wear him down. You know, it, was, it had a reverse effect and, like I said, when I needed a box, I decided a box at the end and, like I said, a box a fighter and that's what I had to do. He obviously caught you, you are cut over the uh, right eye there. Were you hurt badly at any point in that fight? Oh, not at all, no. I, in, I was in no doubt about my chin before I went in the ring. I knew Tony Oki couldn't hurt me. But like I said, that was, and I said, but, <laughs> you know, it was a bit of clashing with the heads in close, but that was because it was a, an interesting fight in close. But um, like I said, I'll, I'll move on from this. And when I received the cut, that's when I had to box long and change, and change my game. Let's have a look at this Commonwealth belt that you've won here. I mean, it certainly looked like while you're out there, you started to really enjoy being out there as well. You really started, your flair came out and your throwing shots. Were you enjoying it? Yeah, it means so much. And I, no way was I going to give up. I, I'll fight until the end. And I, I just learned to, learned to enjoy the game. You know, it, it can be hard enough sport as it is. And without making it even harder, I just had to learn to enjoy it. And the fans was behind me. And I think they enjoyed it too. And just a word for your fans, in your dressing room here you have loads of supporters that have come up to support you all the way through. And obviously your father and trainer, Vince in the corner and Alan, have kept you going. Just important, is our team cleverly to you? It's very important, it's, you know, it's not all individual, you need the team behind you to, to get you motivated for the training back at home. No one sees the training side, they only see the end product in the ring. They don't see the pressure I put under my team when I'm home. You know, because training's hard and it, it can be mentally stressful, sometimes physically stressful. And, you know, for them to stick by me, keep coming back and training me, keep on pushing me, and the rewards are there tonight. Nathan Cleverly, Commonwealth Light Heavyweight Champion, congratulations. Thanks a lot, it means a lot.